day started out as any other day. Um, I was after work in the evening and the boys were with their mother running some errands. They were arriving home without my knowledge. Um, Tate seen that I was mowing and while my wife was running um, the groceries inside, Tate um, ran over to see me to say hi to his dad. I was backing up, looking over my right shoulder. That's when I looked down and um, Tate was belly button underneath the lawnmower to his toes. You try to stay calm because you don't want to get all worked up and scream and scare him even more. And, and you start thinking, is, is my son going to pass away right here in my arms? And he hasn't even started to live his life. Tate was brought to our hospital with really devastating injuries uh, from a lawnmower. Uh, he'd had injury to both of his legs as well as pelvis uh, from the uh, lawnmower blades. Uh, he had multiple injuries that required multiple uh, members of our healthcare team, our pediatric trauma service, um, our soft tissue reconstruction specialists, as well as our pediatric trauma specialists as far as musculoskeletal injuries. I met with his parents and we started talking about our plans for trying to save his legs, optimizing his function, and getting him to heal up the best he can from these really devastating injuries. Even though it was a super difficult incident and experience to deal with, but I just remember all the nurses that were on his care team. They were just so skilled, got us whatever we needed. They were super sincere. I think it's definitely helpful for as much as they offer the kids. There's always so many child life and music therapy, art therapy, people who bring their dogs in definitely helps, I think, any of the kids. Safety-wise, you know, I, I was guilty of having my kids ride on my lap during mowing, which is wrong. I looked at it as if they're on my lap, nothing's gonna happen. I know they're here, they're not gonna sneak up on me. Um, but really, it built them, um, and to know that they can be around a lawnmower. But being a three-year-old like Tate was, he didn't know the dangers if I would back up or not see him being so small. So from just day one, tell your kids you have to be inside when you're out mowing. It's a serious discussion you need to have with your wife or husband or family that these things are not toys. They look cool to kids, but they're very dangerous and look at our story, look at other people's stories. Um, this is real, it can really happen. Um, you can lose limbs and even worse, you know, death. And um, don't ever allow them on or near it or rides on them even if you're not mowing because it just creates that culture of saying it's okay to be on the lawnmowers. Never mow in reverse. The lawnmowers do have safety features to allow you to do that, but there are things that happen. You can't see children because they're so small. There's blind spots just like vehicles on the road. So at of all costs, do not mow in reverse because the consequences are life-changing and not worth those extra few seconds. Today, Tate is doing extremely well. Looking at him, you wouldn't have known anything had happened. He obviously has some scars from his skin grafts, but he is running around, riding his bike, which he learned how to do, you know, even without training wheels. And we're overjoyed to see that because we didn't know if he would be able to, we'd be able to save his leg. Uh, his procedures went very well. We were able to get his soft tissues to heal. We were able to get his bone to heal. And despite having to go through multiple operations and having a really devastating injury at the start, I think he's going to get good long-term function out of this leg. I'd expect him to be able to run, jump, and play like a normal kid. We try to help families that are going through something similar where they're struggling just because we had so much support from other people where we want to be their support now say hey we went through these struggles in a hospital here's this advice or that so just trying to help other families 
going through a devastation like this is what we're kind of more focused on.